Hi guys, today I have my eyeshadow declutter. This one's gonna be a hard one. This is my eyeshadow drawer and it's just a mess right now. I used to like kind of organize them, but not really. Uh, I tend to keep my smaller palettes up here and then this kind of tray keeps all my single shadows or like really small ones. And then in the back, there are like the bigger palettes, if you can see them. But you can see that it really needs some organization. I honestly don't even know like where to start because it's just difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take some of them out and put them on the floor so we can look at them better. All right, I just dumped out some of them. <laughs> um, I still have most of my bigger palettes up in the drawer and we're gonna get to that later. Let's do my Z palettes first because I feel they're probably easier for me to get rid of um, some of the shades. So let's see, I have three Z palettes that I'm kind of using right now. This one is my drugstore. Those are from a L'Oreal, I think, Hip Studio eyeshadow duels, and I deposited all of them. Those are from Wet n Wild. They're from like various different trails and quads and like whatever. So I just kept some shades from like different little palettes and also i have this palette this one is more like a higher end palette those two are from inglot this one is benefit and this is a book of shadows um, from urban decay and those are a couple random ones the last one here is really dirty this is more like what i'm using right now so i don't think we're gonna touch this one even though it looks nasty but yeah those are the stuff i'm panning right now so they're not going anywhere i know all right, let's see. So for those two palettes, I think first of all, I let this one go because I have so many like mid-tone shimmery brown shade, like this one, this one, right here, right there. Like, you know what I mean? Like there are so many shades that are similar ideas. Not necessarily like one is better than the other. I'm sure that is the case, but I mean like how many of those do I need? And this one is probably the oldest that I have, and yeah, I'm not gonna keep it. And also, actually, just by looking at them, I think I will let those two go as well. Um, I think I use shimmery dark browns really slow. They really just don't do the trick for me. I only use them in my outer V, so really, like, I will go through two or three lit shades, like mid-tone lit shades, and I'll go through one of those. So I really don't need to keep a whole lot of them around. So I think I'll let those two go. And just out of those two little palettes, I think the only one that I'm keeping is this one. This one is much darker than the others, um, and I like the formula of it. Um, all right, let's see. I do like my mid-tone, like, lighter shimmery shades for all over the lids. I tend to use them fairly quickly, so I don't think I would get rid of them. And those ones, actually, they're really good. Like, the formula of them um, and the color, it's just like, they're a little bit more colorful. Look at them, they're beautiful. I think they're really good formula, so I will keep all six of those as well. And I will keep my Urban Decay, and I think I'll keep everything in this palette for now. And let's look at my Wet n Wild ones. All right, here's a swatch of those five shades right down here. I mean, they're all shimmery and pretty, but I think first off, I'm gonna let this pink one go right in the middle right here. I usually don't use pinks. I think I either use a champagne color or like a gold. Pinks just don't work very well on my skin tone, so I'll let this one go. And then between those two, um, do I really need to keep both? I don't think so. I think this one is more intense compared to this one. So I would just keep this more intense one and let this like subtle one go. All right, I think that looks good for now. This is one of keeping and let's move on. All right, those ones now, I think crazy enough though, I'm gonna let this one go. This is from MAC. This is Dusky Rose times nine. It looks pretty, but it just doesn't really work on me, I feel like they take too much effort and some of them are not really pigmented. Like I'm just not impressed by them. Like whenever I use them, they just take so much work. Like look at those two they're like barely even there. So I just think I have so many other shadows that are similar. I really don't need to work for it. So I probably would try to sell this one. I have two of those like big wet and wild palettes. This one, I dug out two shades because I just feel I would never use them. And honestly, I still don't think I would use it. I just, I'm not the biggest purple fan. Let's swatch them. Maybe I would just keep a couple shades and get rid of the palette. That way at least it's more like, space efficient 
I think those two don't even really show up very well, so I will get rid of them. And maybe I will keep this purple shade in the middle. It looks pretty. And now those three, let's see. Oh, that one's just too dark. I don't think I'll ever use that. I think I'll keep this like reddish color. It has a lot of gold shimmer. It's pretty. And the last one is just a shimmery color. Like I'm sure I have a lot of them. So I think I'll keep those two shades out of this palette and get rid of the other ones. So I'm keeping those two. And this comfort zone palette, I think it looks pretty still. And I do feel inspired to use it, so I'll keep it. Ooh, this wet and wild one. I kept it for the longest time because of this one red shade. I think back in the day, you really couldn't find a red shade like that. And honestly, I'm never gonna touch those two darker browns. And those two, let's see, um, they're pretty, but nothing too special, you know what I mean? Um, but now like pink or orange red shades, it's like a thing. And I have the Yes Please palette from ColourPop, so I think I'm sure I can find a dupe. I'll let this quint go. This one I'm also kind of panning, so I don't think I will get rid of it. This is from Laura Geller. Oh, <laughs> this is from Laura Geller, and it is the big gelato in the color caramel, so I'll keep that. But I do have to say, after using it for a while, I realize I have better gold shades. So after pinning it, like after this project ends, regardless, I think I'll just get rid of it. I have two singles from L'Oreal. I do like them. This one is Amber Rush. This one is Bronze Taupe. I think I'm gonna try to pan them next year. And yeah, I think that's my plan. So I will keep them around. Let's see here. Um... I have a few that are like companion palettes in my eyes, like those ones, because they're kind of just like neutral brown shades and sometimes I will run out of like a um, mid-tone transition shade and I would just like substitute with one of those. They're easy to use. This one definitely is good, I'm gonna keep it. And maybe I wouldn't try to pan that shade. Like I would just use those three and get rid of the palette. Um, and I think this one is good because they're all like mid-tone colors and with one light one So I will keep this one too, but now looking at it I feel this one is questionable because it has two deeper colors and those two lighter ones. Let's swatch them Yeah, I don't think they'll do it for me. Yeah, I yeah, I think I'll let this one go This is from essence and the qual is called to die for all right, um, <laughs> I kind of don't know where to start. Let's look at all of my Wet n Wild trails. Um, I think this is all of them, pretty sure. Hopefully, maybe I'll find a couple more later, but let's look at them. Um, do I want to keep all of them? I think I will keep those two for sure. They just inspire me, and I'll keep this one and this one. Sorry about the glare. Blues. I never use blues. They're powdery. Wow, they're hecka powdery. And they don't really show up blue. They show up like purple, you know what I mean? Um, and this blue... <laughs> There's nothing. I think I'll let this one go. Yeah, it's not that good quality anyways. Let's try this one. Um, I haven't used it for a while. I feel it's more like a companion palette, you know? That brown is intense, but this one doesn't really show up. It's just, it's really close to my skin tone. I can probably use it as a all over setting shade for my lid. Um, this one is, is not really showing up. Yeah, I don't think I care much for it. You know what, I think I'll just let this one go because I'm sure I have similar shades like this, so it's not worth it. And this one is in the color Enlisting for Beauty. All right, the last one here, let's see. It looks kind of unique, you know, a peach and a blue. It's a good way of pairing things. Oh, I like this peach shade, and this khaki shade looks really different, doesn't it? But I don't care much for this blue. It doesn't even look blue, you know, it just looks blackish. I want to try to find a dupe. If I can dupe this color, then I'm gonna get rid of this trail. And if not, then I would depot this shade and then get rid of those two. Huh, let's see. Um, 
This Mally one is kind of newer for me and I'm still trying to use it and get a feeling on it So I think I'll keep it around for a little longer It does look really pretty and it reminds me a lot of this um, Too Faced peanut butter jelly palette because it has orange and it has those purples So I'll keep this one for a little longer This Lorac one is also kind of different um, Yeah, I mean I do like those shades in here those are all easy to use shades, and I'm kind of panning this one right now. Those two, I'm not too sure, but I mean, and maybe I would depot some shades and get rid of some, but for now, I'll keep it. Lorac Pro, I think I would keep. Let's see this Clinique. It's beautiful. Um, every time I use it, like it works better than I think. Um, I definitely don't need to keep those three shades. This gold one does look good. I like using gold colors, but I think I probably would have a dupe of some sort. So right here, here's a gold from Lorac. I really like this little trail. Um, let's see this gold. Ooh, that gold works so much better than that, and they're a similar color actually, but the reflection makes them a little different, but you can see them. Um, yeah, I think I would keep this gold and just get rid of this little quad here. Actually, I just realized those three shades are all very dupable. Um, this gold one, I swatched it right here, and that is the gold from Urban Decay right there. So I would, yeah, I wouldn't keep this gold. And also those two, this one is from Lorac, and this one is that brown right down there. So I think two of the three shades are, you know, dupes, and this one, I'm sure I can find a dupe of some kind. It's right down here. Uh, it's beautiful, but I mean, how many shimmery whites do I need to keep? So I will get rid of this one. All right, let's look at this one. Um, this is Lorac Pro, and also it's like a little trail. I like those things for traveling because they're easier. But to be honest, like I never just go travel with three shades. I have to have a little bit more of a variety. So that might defeat the purpose. Oh my gosh, that one looks pretty. And this one is all so very good. It's just this brown that I don't care for. But I think I'll keep it. Like those two. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Um, but because I said I honestly never really just travel with only this one trail. So I probably would just depot them. Okay, I brought in a few more palettes. I think I need more to like compare back and forth so I can make a better decision. Um, this Lorac one is really good. Like, I don't hear people talk about it, but it's a really good palette. This one is in Stylist. Um, I got it from Holt Look all randomly, and I do not regret the decision. Look at it. Um, it is pretty. But you know what? This right here, this gold and green, it reminds me a lot of the gold and green right here. They are similar ideas. I'm going to swatch them. Um, oh geez, I think I would get rid of this gold one for sure because you can see those two golds are essentially just the same and those greens are different enough for me. This one is much darker, this one is more like a lighter metallic green color. So I think I'll keep the green but I would get rid of this gold. Since we're here, let's compare this gold as well. This one is a little lighter, more like a champagne I feel. Um. Oh man, that is similar. I got rid of that one already. Uh, let's see this one. Oh, this one is much warmer. I think I'll keep this gold for a little longer for now. Um, we'll probably revisit it soon. Okay, I just put all the shades in here. I think it's easier to look at rather than you know flipping through two palettes. Uh, we'll keep them here all together for now. And just by doing that, I realized this one and this one are a little similar, but um, I swatched them. You can see that the Urban Decay one is the, the one on top. It swatches much better, um, and this one just doesn't really show up on the bottom. So I think I would just let this one go. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting rid of things. Um, it's going much better than I thought. So here we have Bon Jovi palette. This is um, a palette that I kind of panned this year a little bit. I finished the blush in the highlighter as you can see and I hit pan on two shades right here. I was kind of thinking about panning it next year but I wasn't like 100% committed to it yet but now actually looking at it I feel 
I don't want to keep it, honestly. Um, because those two shades that I already hit pan on, I don't care much for them. And I don't really want to continue to use them. I like those two matte shades. Um, but do I really need to keep that many of them around? Yeah, they do work pretty well, but... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna swatch a few of my favorite shades out here and then see if I can dupe them and At most I probably would depot a few shades and then get rid of the rest All right, just after a couple swatches. I feel I'm gonna keep this cranberry shade um, I probably would have more dupes I didn't flip through too many other shades as you can see I just went to my Z palette, but I think it's a little darker compared to this one So I'll keep it but I do realize this deep one is right here it just looks black like it doesn't look like that you know so i would let this one go and i would not keep the screen because they're similar enough for me um this one i don't think i would keep either it looked pretty but it's too similar to this shade from one wild and i think this one wild one performs better so, and this like lighter, uh, almost like a matte purple shade, I do like that one. So I think I'll keep those two out of this palette and everything else I'm getting rid of. Let me mark them so I don't, you know, forget. So I'm keeping this one and I'm also keeping this like reddish one right here. Um, do I want to keep anything else? I think just for the sake of it, I'm going to keep those two matte shades because they do work really well and then... You know, they, like, we always go through those shades pretty easily anyways. And the rest of the palette, I will just get rid of it. And this pinkish shade, that's eh, okay. It, it's nothing, like, too crazy. And, yeah, that one is okay too. So, yeah, I'm keeping four shades out of here. And the rest of them, I'm just going to declutter. All right, those ones, my gut tells me I'm probably going to keep all of them. Um, this is a new single and shroom, I think. Yes, I'm keeping that. And those two MAC singles, I think I'm going to be keeping. But they do remind me a lot of those two shades that I said I was going to keep from Bon Jovi. Let's compare them. Um, I think they're different enough, but it does make me realize how cool tone this brown is. So I don't think I will keep this brown anymore. Um, I wouldn't depot this brown. I would just depot one two and three shades out of here this one is really boring but i think i would keep it this is a duel from bare minerals they're really just boring shades but they're new and i just got them not too long ago i think i'll keep them for a little longer those ones um even though they look similar in the pan but they are just all so beautiful i don't think i can get rid of any of those three I've gone through multiple declutters, and every time when I swatch them, I'm just like, wow, they look pretty. So I will keep all three of those. Here's a swatch of them. Yeah, they're all very pretty, so keeping them. All right, those ones, I think I will just keep. Uh, this NARS one is gorgeous. Look at that. So yeah, that's not going anywhere. This one, I do use it very often. I think I want to play with it a little bit more in the next couple of months before the year ends. Um, there are some shades that I definitely don't care for, but I mean, I do like hey, <laughs> most of the rest of the shades. And it's really a good travel palette. I travel with it quite often, and it's, it's just good. So I think I will keep this one around. Um, those are all shades I will use very often. The Laura Mercier one is... Is pretty as well so I'm keeping all of those all right this is the last of my palettes now they're all like bigger palettes I have a few from uh, this is Marc Jacobs I don't think they're going anywhere so keeping them I have Gwen Stefani from Urban Decay keeping that and oh that's a face palette it shouldn't be here and then I have chocolate bar Sammy sweet keeping that um, naked I'm keeping this color pop yes please i'm keeping this is the only questionable one oh um i think i'm gonna depot some of the shades and get rid of the packaging honestly i only want to keep a few shades here definitely not those two um uh, this and this are both pretty intense no they don't even work that well so i don't think i'll keep them um uh, this one this one's pretty. I'll keep this one. 
And all of those shades I think I use quite often and regularly. That shimmery white. Ooh, that's intense. It's a good inner corner highlight, I think. So I would go depart uh, the first six right here and this shimmery brown and this dark plum color and get rid of the palette. All right, so those are the palettes I'm getting rid of. Um, I think it's not bad and some singles right here. And also there are a few that I said I was gonna depart shades out of and keep and just toss the palettes, but only keep a couple shades out of here. So I'm gonna go depart them right now, and I think I'm doing pretty good. That's quite a few products out of my collection right now. I do still have a lot that I kept in my collection, but I mean, it's, it's better than not getting rid of anything, right?